Excuse me, do you speak English? I like to think so. Not enough to get by anyways. You? Yeah, I... Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I speak English. I kind of guessed. What can I do for you? I'm looking for this place. Old Temple Academy. I thought it was around here. It's supposed to be a kung fu school, but I'm totally lost. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. Yeah, I, I think I know where it is. I mean, it's not too far. I, I can give you a ride. I mean, it'll be easier than explaining where it is. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that'd that be really great. My name's Amanda, by the way, or Amy. Either one is fine. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Amy. I'm white. <laughs> What brings you to Hong Kong? Are you thinking of becoming Chinese? <laughs> no, no, I, uh, I just finished college and I'm doing a bit of traveling. You know, figuring out what to do with my life, that sort of thing. How's that going? Well, I've only been traveling for a few weeks, so no real progress on the life front. So this is the Bam Bam Club? Back home I saw a restaurant that looked a little bit like this. <laughs> Don't let the locals hear you say that. Well, I've only been traveling for a few weeks, so no real progress on the life front. But I'm checking out Hong Kong for a while. What about you? You got it all figured out? I wouldn't say that. You know, I got a few family issues I'm working on clearing up. Maybe once that's dealt with, I'll get on to figuring out life. Oh yeah? You got any problems? Well, the trick to Hong Kong is learning to live by ancient Chinese wisdom. Look both ways before crossing the street. Always buckling. Wow. This is a pretty cool place for a kung fu school. Unfortunately, the school isn't in the temple. Well, not that temple, anyway. Didn't they use this temple as a backdrop for... What was it? Fists of Carnage? <laughs> no, it was used in the Grandfathers of the Shaolin Fist. Always buckle your seatbelt and only apply makeup at... Watch out! Watch out! Don't text and drive, you know, that kind of thing. Words to live by. Isn't this school supposed to be in a temple? Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to sign up for some kung fu classes. I read about your school in my guidebook. Ah, uh, your guidebook. Yeah, it said you teach a style with a long lineage, but in spite of all that, it's still considered very effective. You want to take classes, okay. And you, did you also read about this place in some book? Well, I... Uh... Wait. I know you. Yes, Sifu Kwok. I used to be your student. I'm Wei, Wei Shen. Ah, yes. The one who went to America. So you brought this girl back with you. Uh, your skill level with girls, very good. Now time to assess your skill level in Kung Fu. Huh? <gasps> 
Try to steer them in the right direction, especially the younger ones. But they all want to be Songong Yi. Now, now I just train them in the ways of my art. Try to teach them compassion and discretion, and pray for the best. See if I don't think there's much more you can do. Oh, Jade Rat, the Song Dynasty, right? Very good. The Song Dynasty? That's like a thousand years old or something. That's real? Part of a set of twelve. One for each animal of the Chinese calendar. Sifu, you used to have the whole set. What happened to the others? Stolen by a former student, corrupted by the triads. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sifu. So was I. This collection meant a lot to me. Sometimes you just have to let things go. I should close up. It was good to see you again, Wei. And your lovely fiance. What? <laughs> okay, uh, that was fun. What do you want to do now? Uh, I need to get home, but uh, I will definitely call you later. I found one of your statues. Oh, the dog. Excellent. I must confess, I was surprised to see you back. I had hoped that you might have escaped Hong Kong. Escaped its influences, its problems. We took them with us when we left. So coming back didn't change much. Are you ready to confront them now? Yes, I think so. What would you like to learn? Buy again if you find one of my statues.
，嗰条咸家铲啊，你条扑街二勇仔！喂 ，get over here now. What's going on, Winston? It's Benny, manager of Club Ban Ban, old friend of mine. Now he's working for Dog Eyes. That Ham Gatan is getting back at us for taking his minibus route. Look, I'll go talk to Benny, make him see reason. Yeah, yeah, wait, you go do that. <laughs> Take some, thanks. Quit, you're in. Get your in ice cream here. Thanks. Make sure you eat it fast. Are you gonna let me in? What do you think you're doing? I got a message from Dog Eyes. You want to tell him you sent me away? Dog Eyes? Oh, sorry, of course. Come on in, sir. Going on in there. This is one of the best karaoke rooms in the city. Nobody gets in without a hostess or the boss's approval. I'm sure we can work something out. Work something out with the hostess. You're a karaoke hostess, right? Can you get me into the VIP room? Sure. Just come with me. You have a bit of an accent. Are you from around here? Yeah, originally, but you know, I was in the States for a long time. Oh, that's so cool. I always wanted to go. So, uh, what's Benny like? Benny? You mean the manager? Yeah. Well, Benny's nice enough. He always makes sure you get paid on time. <laughs> come on. Okay. Sing me a song. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Hey, Listen, buddy. you know, I like it down here, but back home, I'm used to a little more. You'd be the person I'd talk to about that, right? Yeah. Can I get a VIP room? Yes, of course. It's much nicer up there. Yeah. 
Go ahead to the lounge upstairs. Okay. I'll get the room set up. Yeah, yeah. Looking for Benny. Hey, Benny. Yeah. Some guy here wants to talk to you. Hey, hey. What can I do for you? I have a message from an old friend, Winston Chu. What? what, what Winston? What? That? Uh, this isn't such a good idea. I think you should leave. He wants you to know that Dog Eyes isn't your problem anymore. If he gives you any trouble, you let Winston know, and I'll take care of it personally. You heard that, man. Get the fuck out of here.
Relax, Benny. I'm not gonna kill you. Okay. Just listen. Okay. What do you want? Just what I said. Winston wants to be your friend. And what about Dark Eyes? Not your problem. I hope you're right. For my sake. Can I go now? Of course you can, Benny. You're late. Conroy's still watching. He's got a real hard on. Is your cover compromised? Well, you haven't fished me out of the harbor yet. All right. How are you doing? How am I doing? <laughs> Fuck, Raymond. Where do I start? There's a civil war brewing in the sun on Yi. Winston and Dog Eyes escalated practically every day. Don't you read my fucking reports? I mean, you personally. How are you doing? <laughs> Look, Raymond. I gotta get back. Your state of mind is important. It's important to me, it's important to how you do your job. Fuck you! I do my job just fine! Well, that's for me to decide! You mean Pendrew! Pendrew assigned me as your controller. And listen, Wei, Pendrew may not be concerned about you, but I am. I know you have a personal stake here, but this cannot be a vendetta. We're cops. There are rules. You're a cop. I'm an undercover cop. The rules are different. And you're fucking concerned about me? You are an officer of the law, Wei. Same as me. We are not the same. You understand? We done? Yeah, we're done. <laughs>